Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joel. Today, I'm gonna take you on a little trip and then show you one of my favorite fruits. Gonna show you how to cut it up, but first we gotta get the fruit, so let's go. I'll tell you the story on the way. So just last night, I was having a wonderful dream. A beautiful cycling trip full of fruit came to me. I saw orchards, flowers, fields, all so green. Every one of us outdoors having fun. As I rounded a corner, an old and magnificent tree. Under the tree, a table, a huge amount of fruit, all for free. Smiling ladies holding giant jackfruits, sweet mangoes, golden durian, and... was a dream, right? Well, I guess I gotta try. Oh man, it was so cool to just come around. I wish I could take you on that trip, leave that for another day. But today we're gonna be cutting up a lot of fruit, more than just jackfruit. I remember she had, she had several treats. I'm so excited because I have not had like fresh fruit like this in so long. I need some help. So I'm gonna go pick up Lee. We gotta go get that jackfruit. I really hope it's still there. Oh man, I can almost smell the sweetness right now. It was right near this intersection, so it should take about 20 minutes to get there. Let's go. Good morning, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're not quite there yet, but I just saw a jackfruit tree. Okay, so the fruit is just going out of control right now. It's so cool. When the rains start, the fruits start ripening. So there's a jackfruit right there. Oh, oh, oh. That one is not ripe yet, but we're going to get some more. I can feel it. Oh, wow. So this area is just full of these yellow trees right about now. You can see them everywhere. In English, actually, they're called Golden Shower. It's the national tree of Thailand. Okay, let's get back to the car and on to our fruit. rain trees right here and I remember the jackfruit was very close the lady selling had all these rain trees right around the corner okay we got some mangoes and we got some jackfruit look she gave me a huge one for free okay be right back Boom. how much 70 baht for that wow so very cool. Got one more. Oh, and this one is ripe. This is the one we're going to cut today. Got two of them. 50 baht for this one, 70 for this, and then the mangoes, 100 baht. So 220 baht for all that. It's a good day. Let's go home. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I miss people. I miss fruit. I miss doing stuff like this. Man, okay, soon we'll be back to, back to being able to get out, do fruit missions like this all the time, but I'm just, I'm just so grateful for this chance today. It's been, it feels like, 
it feels like two months since the last time that I went out and okay you saw I didn't film her I didn't want to make her nervous but oh, it, it just felt so good to interact with a person and get some fruit okay that one is ripe I can already smell it come here I can already smell that one so that is perfect ripeness Yanlan you ready to cut up some jackfruit yes let's get home Man, the rains have just come and it's like a different country. Okay, we are almost home, but I just turned back because I saw, you know, if we're out getting fruit, then why not do it all? I saw a huge papaya, just a table full of super ripe fruit. I think we're gonna get, just gonna go all out for fruit today. Get some gloves, get some money, get out there. Yes, we got a hundred baht left. Okay, let's go. Look at the size of that. So, she said 50 baht for this entire papaya. Oh, cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nalak, <laughs> nalak. Okay, Chongdi, hap. So cute with her cats. So, that was 50 baht. So we're gonna just keep this back here somewhere. Got some fruit, let's go home. giving you a little thumbnail preview action right there today cutting open a jackfruit i love jackfruit man one of my favorite fruits in the world i also have another of my favorites mango gonna cut up some of that but jackfruit first i hope you enjoy this video please remember to give my fruit videos a thumbs up i love fruit one of my favorite things in the whole world is fruit and today i've got two jackfruits so i am a happy guy Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, welcome to my house. Two cars parked, neither of which are mine, and I have six bicycles, but thankfully, I'm so grateful to have the chance to use this car. Today, it definitely helped out for fruit. When you're ready to cut up jackfruit, there are a few things you're gonna need. A space to work. Jackfruit can get very messy. You're gonna need a videographer. I have the beautiful, Lee, Chef Lee. So I've got some cardboard down and that brings you to the next trick, coconut oil. You're gonna need some coconut oil on your knife to keep things from getting too sticky. So many years of fruit have gone into this knife. My trusty Gerber traveling knife, everything knife. But when you're at home, why not use things of a little bit higher quality? A serrated blade is gonna work best when you're cutting open a jackfruit. One way you're gonna know that a jackfruit is ripe is using your nose. You can just sense the sweetness just fills the room. We're gonna cut this open, see that golden flesh inside right now. And then because I want to still use my computer today, I'm gonna need to cover my hands or else they can get so incredibly sticky cutting up jackfruit. So I'm actually gonna put on some gloves right now. So I have cut up jackfruit many times without gloves and it could be up to two days until you can touch any electronic devices again. And so it is fun, but as I do want to get some work done today, I'm gonna to be wearing gloves for this. And I forgot, it is definitely a requirement to have comfortable clothing, because you're gonna be sitting for, I don't know, it depends how good you are, 30 minutes to an hour. If it's a huge jackfruit, you're gonna be sitting for a while. So put on some comfortable lounge wear. Thank you, Lee. I almost forgot, you're gonna to wanna to Lubricate your knife with coconut oil. So, lubricate the blade of your knife as you go. Okay, this jackfruit is definitely ripe. 
the stem can be so thick, so strong. You know, some jackfruits can be 35, 40 kilograms. I am not an expert. I just love fruit. I just love having fun. Yeah, it's super ripe. There are a bunch of ants in here already. Just open the top and see what you're working with here. Oh, it smells so awesome, even just doing that. So I can see the top of this is quite brown. So I think ants are enjoying this. And by the way, jackfruit is one of those super foods of our world. Jackfruit not only is super healthy, it can even serve in the place of meat. And I'm telling you, sometimes it's even better than meat. Jackfruit can be made into curry. That's green jackfruit. Today, this is a ripe jackfruit. We're just gonna be eating the fruit. But you have all these seeds. These seeds can also be boiled. So we're gonna be saving the seeds. Those are great to eat as well. You're just kind of gonna to want to open the jackfruit and then like pick it apart because it's such a big job. You have to be methodical about it. So I'm not just gonna cut it in half right now. It is amazing. Really using all my force to open this. Wow. Can you hear that? Wow, it's beautiful. Look at that. Man. Wow, it's just beautiful in there. Look at that. It's almost like a like a harp or something, like a musical instrument. Nature is just mind-blowing with how beautiful it can be, simple or intricate like that. Oh, it's just amazing. Okay, it's impossible to resist a taste test somewhere along the way. I see this little nugget is just perfect. Let's taste. Mm. So this is kind of how I do it. And like I said, I'm not an expert, but I love fruit. So I've had a lot of experience over the years living here in Thailand. So you're just gonna go like layer by layer, cutting it back and take out the first row of fruits and then just work your way through. It is quite a mission to successfully take apart an entire jackfruit and still, <laughs> still not make a total mess of your area. So if you are fortunate enough to do this as a team, it will definitely make the work go faster. So we are gonna get to work getting all the fruit. Man, it's so sweet. Get all the fruit out and see how fast we can do this. reaching the halfway point here. It is just, it's still just a mess of fibers and strands inside, but you can see just that golden, that small golden mountain of fruit over there. It is definitely worthwhile. I think we've been doing this for maybe 30 minutes now. So we are not professionals by any means, but just with a little work, it's awesome how it pays off so well. So these actually are very normal sized jackfruits. These were about six kilograms each. The biggest that I have ever seen was with Mark in Bangkok. We went to a huge downtown market and we had a jackfruit and we asked the vendor. He said it was also the biggest that he had ever seen and it was 35 kilograms. Can you imagine a fruit that is 77 pounds? I'm 47. Amazing. Okay, so the, it weighed almost as much as Lee. Yeah, but I looked online, jackfruit can get up to 50 kilograms. So it is, watermelon can get more than 50 kg, but maybe jackfruit is the second biggest fruit in the world, maybe. What it's massive, anyways. Jackfruit? It's 
it for this for this guy. Lee is almost finished with her portion there. Look at that. Look at that. Did a pretty good job of keeping the area clean as well. The cleanup afterwards can be quite a job if you don't prepare yourself first. So the coconut oil really helps for the knife. And then having something simple like cardboard to put down, you can sit on and just get right close to the jackfruit, do the work, and then use the skin of the jackfruit itself to be like a protective layer between the floor and all your tasty bites of golden jackfruit flesh right there. Okay, quickly, sorry I forgot to mention, there is another membrane around every seed that you're gonna need to peel off before you can eat it. Okay, so you're gonna bring it to a rolling boil and I usually do it for about 10 minutes. Something unique about these, you can see when you boil them, there's like a second skin that kind of separates. So boiling them cooks the, the flesh inside, which is kind of like a ground nut consistency. And then if you let it dry, you can even like mash these. They're almost like potatoes. They are just, jackfruit is an amazing fruit. So there you go. See, this one's already separating. It's amazing how fast. They're still so hot. I can't even touch them, but that, so there's a second membrane around that, but then they also, the seeds themselves have like this skin. You can see it start to crack right there. You're gonna need to pull that off before you can eat them. The fruit, literally the fruit of our labor. Today, Lee and I opened a 70 baht jackfruit, which was about seven or eight kilograms. And I guess it yielded about two kilograms of fresh jackfruit but it also yields seeds. Mmm, it's so fibrous. I can only think of taro to compare it to. Jackfruit curry is one of the best curries that I've ever had, but also just talking about the seeds, you can make this into flour. The texture is just incredible. So I think it tastes something like a yam or like taro, like a root. It's very starchy. And actually, even more than that, it also has a lot of protein. So this is like 10%, I just did some quick research, 10% by weight, which is huge. And you know, most, most of the time, people just throw these away when you buy jackfruit at the market. Because you have to take these home and boil them and peel them, you can basically think of this as a free food. It has tons of good carbohydrates and protein. It is just amazing. Jackfruit, one of the most amazing foods and it's a fruit, but I mean, it's just an amazing food. So here you go again, got this one cleanly peeled, which is success on its own. Mm. Yeah, that's so, that is so delicious. It's an amazing thing. Like if you had never had it and people didn't tell you what it was, I don't know if you would believe that it's a seed. Let's have some more jackfruit. Why not? We have so much of it. Man, look at that color. It is always a treat. Yeah, and as soon as you open any container with a fruit that ripe, oh, that reminds me. You know what? This fruit comes from India. It originates in India. So thank you, India, for the gift of jackfruit to the world. In India, on buses, on trains, sometimes if it's a, if it's a first class train, you'll see no jackfruit because it smells so strong. It can actually disrupt other passengers. Here in Thailand, definitely durian, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, also Vietnam, it's the durian, but also you can have jackfruit smelling so strong that it even disrupts other passengers. So, mm. <laughs> Last but not least, one of my favorite parts, of course, about fruit is how healthy it is. So I got to tell you a little bit about jackfruit. The seeds are really interesting because they haven't been researched so much yet. So the studies that have been done show jackfruit seeds are amazing for digestive health. Of course, like most seeds, they are high in fiber, which helps push things through, help keep your digestion going in a healthy way. And also in your gut for digestion of other foods. When you eat things like fiber, it can help the beneficial bacteria that do live in your gut to work better in digesting your food and giving you nutrients that are in the other foods that you eat. 
So that's an amazing thing. In Chinese traditional medicine, jackfruit has been used to, uh, jackfruit seeds, sorry, as diarrhea prevention, so another digestive health benefit. Something about jackfruit in Thailand is that it's considered a lucky fruit. So New Year's and weddings, birthdays, people will eat jackfruit. They believe it's lucky. I think that's just so cute. Hope you have enjoyed this video. I love fruit. I think you can see that. I hope to encourage you to go out there, try new fruits and just enjoy. Oh yeah, I do have a small playlist of fruits. And when I travel around the world, I always go to markets, look for new fruits. That is one of the highlights for me of all travel. So I'm adding this to that playlist. You can check out a few there. Send me some messages about your favorite fruit or how you open your favorite fruits. I hope that you found this video entertaining and also useful, educational, and just made you smile, of course. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.